Hello everybody, my name's Says Rift, and welcome to Trouble. Because today I've made a mod pack for 1.12 Minecraft. Now, I wasn't sure if, uh, if it would become majorly problematic. I'd done some minor testing and had forgotten to record many times. So, here we were. There was biomes aplenty and lost cities and an infection that would become worse and worse as it prevailed. And there was also TF2. But on my first day, I didn't really know what I was going to do. I felt a little bit deterred because I had already created a world and started, but I would forgot to record. Here I was, though, mining an immersive tree. One that would fall when I smacked the crap out of it, so here we were. After about three eternities, the tree decided to fall, and I was on top of the world. I had just received nine whole logs for that amount of time. It was pretty simple but I knew things weren't always going to be so easy. I was already starting to heat up, even if I wasn't thirsty yet. And I knew that the hotter I got, the worse things would end up for me. I saw a small cave and I wasn't really sure what to do about it, so I kind of just left it alone. I knew that Lost Cities would be full of probably not very good loot, but they would be having a lot of mobs. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do about it, so I just decided to keep walking as I burned the crap out of my butt. The building in question that I was looking at happened to have been right in front of a large crater. Wasn't sure what created the crater, but I knew that I didn't want to be a part of it. The city seemed pretty dang destroyed, and I wasn't sure how to get into the other rooms of the building. Due to the fact that, well, they were blocked off. I immediately saw spawners, but they looked like they were going more for upstairs. Something was definitely keeping these guys in. It seems like it was only spider spawners, but I didn't really have anything to fight them yet. I was cooling off a little bit, or so I thought, so I just decided to take the time and, well, I wanted to make some tools. Made a small wood pickaxe to hopefully keep me company for the time, and a wood sword so if a spider did spawn down here, I would hopefully be able to manage. I heard a baby zombie too, which... It's probably the scariest thing I did here, even though I heard a lot of things. I wasn't sure how safe or unsafe it was going to be on the next floor, but I saw the spider, and I was having a hard time stabbing it. And I was sure that things were spawning up here willy-nilly. I saw a skeleton and the spider climbing a wall. The skeleton promptly tried to annihilate me and spun around and did some weird tricks. A skeleton fight then ensued. I wasn't really sure if I was going to be safe. Things just kept spawning though, so I decided that I wasn't really going to go up there just yet. It wasn't my top priority. I instead decided to look downstairs to see if things were just as bad, and honestly they looked worse, which made sense because it was dark down there. Up here I had the luxury of it being light from the day, but down there, there was no such luck. I didn't really have any interest in this town at the moment, so I got some more water, and I, well, I, I just kind of walked off. I was hoping to see a village. So I checked my map, and uh, it, well, it looked like I had a village pretty close by, actually. I had just missed it, or maybe I'd already been there. Given the state of my inventory, I figured that I just haven't been there yet. So I started walking, and sure enough, a village. Thank you, map. And you know what a village means? A village means prime infection in targets. So I didn't really know how long it would take, or how long they would be able to live. The apocalypse would come soon, and I wasn't really sure when, but I just figured soon. I decided to steal all their junk because I didn't want it to go to waste. And, uh, well, I found a lodestone. I was happy to see that. It gave me a little bit of a something to get somewhere. And I decided to call it, uh, Jungle I didn't really know why I called it that. I just kind of wanted to. I saw a wizarding tower in the distance, and uh, this village didn't seem super full of anything useful, maybe some books. But it was starting to get nighttime, so I decided I would pay the wizard a little visit. I wasn't sure if it was an evil one or a good one, so I drank some dirty water. Now, something smart to do is not to break blocks, because if they are nice, they won't go after you unless you break blocks. But he sounded pretty dang perturbed, so I decided to leave him alone. I figured he was probably spawning shit to get on me. I saw a poison core of some sort and I thought I could try to bait it into that horse, but it just seemed to want to pursue me. 
It was getting blown around a decent bit though, so I was able to escape. Honestly, with a wood sword, I was feeling a little bit ballsy. So, actually, I did turn around and I, uh, I went to fight him, and probably to my death. Hearing the angry hers of a man that was going to murder me soon, I was pretty dang scared. I didn't know what to do, I didn't really have any good food, and I wasn't sure if rotten flesh was going to infect me, but I was going to eat it anyway, because I wanted to be full on hunger. So, there was an uh-oh stinky man, and I wasn't really sure what a good strategy to fight the man was. I was thinking about doing this, though. I was hoping he would just come down to fight me. I wasn't really sure how I was going to get him to do that, though. I knew that he was going to hurt once he did that. There he goes. Now he's down here, but now he's up there. I wasn't really sure what he was going to do next, but I knew that he fell on me. And that was pretty dang scary. And he did it again. Then he summoned some zombies, which were scary to me. He even got a little bit lower, which made it easier to hit him. Now that I had my wood sword, I was sure that I would win. What? Then he used it against and He would probably win. So I just kept trying to hit him, and they, well, he had, he died eventually. I wanted to wait a little bit, though, because I realized that that zombie, well, it hadn't despawned yet. Just because I had killed the wizard didn't mean the zombie was just going to be chill. Um, so I wanted to wait a little bit longer, or at least get the zombie to fall down here, too. Which I wasn't really sure how I was going to do. So, I don't know. Kind of went aggressive on it. But then I realized the zombie despawned. It happened eventually. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes not. I think they last about 15 seconds. But in the end, I was just happy to get an arcane table and some loot. Some real viable loot. At this time, I noticed that this place was pretty much completely made of... Well, it was made of stone. That makes my life a lot easier. All I had to do was replace some bits in the wall where windows are and then I, I'd probably be tornado proof which I was fortunate enough not to have to deal with yet so I uh, well I plucked up some bookshelves and I decided to put them in my chest and I, then afterwards I would put them in my uh, well I'd, I'd put them in my uh, I, I'd, get, I'd get my life together that's all I'm trying to say so Knowing that I was going to stay here for a while, I decided to put the thing back down, the enchantment table or whatever it was. And, uh, well, I had most of my things in the chest, so I just decided to make another one for any other remaining things. I didn't want to have a particularly bad time, so I put stuff in and then I sorted it, and, uh, well, that was that. I needed to get more stone, and I decided to take four wood with me so that I can make another crafting table downstairs. I went ahead and placed down the anvil as well while I was at it. Now, I was thirsty as hell, but my neighbor was douchebags, so I just kind of ran away, and guess what? I drank some dirty water. But my neighbor was still following me around, and I wasn't super happy about that. It looked like the wind was getting pretty toily, so I wasn't confident things were going to be perfectly good. But at the moment, it wasn't my main concern. So... I just grabbed some sugar cane and the thunder started rolling. Decided to mine a hole in the wall. And, uh, well, that one thing led to another, and I had a stone pickaxe, which I was pretty stoked about. Now, my good friend Woody here, Woody was always hard and tough and, well, pleased to women. So, I wasn't going to just let him die slowly in a box somewhere no he would die a warrior's death we would fight the world together we would break things until he was broken and we found copper thanks Woody so once we got the copper I just kinda kept going I wanted to honor Woody I didn't want him to just die in vain it was pretty dark though you know starting to hurt my eyes a little bit but you know it is what it is. I had not found cold yet, and there wasn't much I could do about it. Woody here, he lived a strong, good life. He beat the crap out of lots of rock, but it, his time had come, and he eventually died. So I started making my way up, 
making my way downtown, walking fast, kicking ass, and my temperature is pretty moderate down here. If you didn't know, caves can stay a solid 60, 70 degrees, which is a really dang nice temperature. Now, I figured my neighbors would be up here to rock my shit, but it seems like they hadn't been spawning all over the place, so I was lucky so far. My tower seemed mostly intact, and I was grateful. So, I ate some dirty meat. I needed to get some dirty drink, though. I wasn't really sure it was safe, though, with my neighbors being the way they were. And I needed to make another pickaxe. I wanted to make a final push, and I wasn't really sure when would be the right time. I wanted to make a push into the spawner. I wanted to break the crap out of that spawner. That spawner would be my undoing. They had been invading my home enough with that one time. So I decided to put a bunch of my crap in the box. And, well, I wanted to fight it. I did, however, take some iron out for the cooking. I didn't want to just have nothing going on. My neighbors were pretty freaking angry, though, so... I decided I would uh, run a little bit first. Or I noticed the waves and the rain were moderately harsh. Wasn't really sure if there was a tornado over there or if it was just windy. But I knew it was storming, that's for sure. I saw an infector in the distance at this very time. This meant trouble. I saw a bunch of them, in fact. Look at them. They are creepy. And that one flies. That one flies and it's poisonous. It flies and it's poisonous. I ran away because, oh lord, they're spawning everywhere and there's a tower over there. Which means this is only going to get worse. And it's going to get worse fast. I wanted to see where they were at and I saw the flying one. It seemed like it was fighting the cores. If I wanted to take out the core nest, this would be the time to do it. But honestly, they might be the thing defending my house. I looked down and I saw a little building. Wasn't really sure what to do about that. But I noticed that mobs were falling from the sky. This could only mean two things. One, an infector picked him up and dropped him. Or two, well, a tornado did. But I was scared to death. So I came over here and I decided to hang out with the uh, engineer and pyro. I knew that trouble would be afoot, but unfortunately, this engineer decided to have a mini sentry. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do about those infectors. They might as well have claimed my home, and they will murder me if I get close to it, I'm sure. But maybe the cores got them. It seems, in fact, like the cores did get them. Maybe I could drag the rest of the infectors this direction. That was the thing that made me hopeful. Now these things hurt, and they are disgusting. So I had to keep an eye out. At this point, I noticed there was a red base over there. How did I not know this before? So, I just decided to fight the infectors, which, God, they hit like a truck. And honestly, now would be a smart time to run. So, that's what I tried to do, but there were more infected things nearby, and I was thirsty. Wow. It hurt. I'll be honest, it hurt. So, I tried to run around. Because I did not want to deal with that, especially on two hearts. I just wanted to run away and be hopeful that this pig right here was a safe pig. It's like a safe word, except it's a pig. But I knew those infectors were fast, so they would probably come to kill me soon. Honestly, right now my big concern was getting into the red base. At this point, I saw one of the mutants. That was terrifying. The Heavy and Engineer seemed to have it mostly under control, though. They were on opposing teams, unfortunately. Which meant they had to fight afterwards. There was a Sentry and a Heavy now. And I wasn't really sure how to open this door. I wasn't on Red Team, so... I didn't know how to get in. I wasn't on Blue Team either, still. Right now... I just wanted to be safe. I wasn't sure how to get inside. I thought if anyone knew it would be the Heavy. But I wasn't on his team, so I couldn't ask him. I broke the class, which I was hoping would not keep me killed. And luckily, they were pretty nice. They just kind of let me rummage through their base a little bit. I was hoping that I wouldn't trigger them. I found a tour of duty ticket and some ammo. 
So I, uh, I opened the ammo and, well, there wasn't really anything of note. Just ammo. It's an ammo thing. What do you expect? Up here, though, I did find a ammo crafting station. It seems like it crafts a lot of things. I wasn't really sure what to craft, though. It seemed fine so far. I was happy that the giant infector mutant had died, but I was scared what I would see when I came back to that village that I had saw earlier. I didn't know what would happen. It didn't seem like it was hopeful, though. Thankfully, though, villagers were safe. There was even a scout here protecting them. I wasn't really sure what the scout's deal was, and I got my interest caught by something in the distance. A bunch of blocks. Figured they were kind of thrown there by a tornado. But I got closer and I saw a zombie there. Wasn't really sure if that made the difference to me. I didn't know what blocks they were. I just figured they were parts of walls. Kind of wanted to go in this building. So I took the, uh, took the chance on this building being safe and I went inside. I heard an engineer building somewhere. Doing something. So I grabbed a furnace. And I got an empty hand. I wasn't sure if this would be happy to provide it to me, but I needed to drink. And it fulfilled. I was no longer dying of thirst, almost. So I came up here to hang out with the blue engineer who had just been chilling. I wasn't sure what his deal was, but I knew he was a happy chap. And I didn't really want to mess with that. He seemed like he was turtling up pretty good. So I opened some doors in case I found friends inside. Which I didn't, surprisingly. I had even found parts of the village that were supposed to be here, but, you know, weren't. Interesting. It seems as if I looped around. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I wasn't sure. But, seeing the building in the distance, I was. Indeed, I had looped around. And indeed, this place was the same area. I was getting hotter, though, and I was almost dead. Which made problems. And because I hadn't chosen a team, I couldn't benefit from the power of the dispenser. So I just kind of decided to murder some sheep and hope they weren't infected. Because if they were, I was screwed. I even heard some burning zombies trying to creep up on me. Thankfully, he's really bad at sneaking. So I just kind of tried to stay away. I knew I was going to be out of hunger really fast, so I knew I really couldn't run. I tried to make some attacks on it. I missed the first time and then I hit. And he was dead. Thanks to the sun and the power of my burning butt cheeks. Because soon I would be ignited with the heat that I was currently in. I didn't know when the seasons would change. I didn't know when it would get colder. I just knew that I was hungry. I ate some meat. I saw that red scout again. Kind of thankfully just existed. But I was... I was alone. Nobody wanted to be helpful to me in particular, they just looked out for themselves. And I was sure on the way back to my house I would meet those infectors again. It would probably be worse. I wasn't sure if they had infected the land yet. So anyway, if you guys liked that video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next one. And God, I don't like infectors, they make me feel physically ill in real life, so I might get rid of them at some point. Probably replace them with a different tough mob that doesn't make me sick. Typically, um, like monsters that are realistically, s I don't know, just things that are super sick, like stomach sick, like aggressive sicknesses, they're like my one true terror. So, it really gets my anxiety going. So anyway, like I said, if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you enjoyed my anguish. Anyway, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.